Welcome back to Guru Beauty. Today I am reviewing a drugstore foundation, brand new one from Rimmel. This is part of their new reformulated lasting finish line. This one is called the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage Foundation. They have also released a new, I guess, lasting finish primer. This one they say increases foundation wear for up to eight hours. I am using this one today in my review with the medium coverage foundation. And then they have also released a full coverage version of the lasting finish 25 hour foundation so I believe that this is a reformulation of what was already on the line they've just extended it now to have a medium coverage and a full coverage it's the medium coverage that I'm reviewing for you today and cutting to the chase I really could not be more impressed this is another fantastic drugstore foundation that is excellent value and that I would thoroughly recommend so if you want to see why and you want to see an application and review for any of day wear keep on watching first of all the packaging does come in a glass pump we're getting the standard 30 mils or one fluid ounce of product la 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 it does have a pump which is fantastic so i find that one pump is a perfect amount for one layer all over the face my preferred method for applying is using a damp beauty blender and it just gives a lovely lovely finish now color match i have matched myself my nc25 skin to the shade 303 true nude and I would say that I could pull this shade off you can see how it matches to my chest or I could probably go down one shade and still wear bronzer and that would probably work better for me in the winter when I'm not self tanning so 303 true nude pretty good color match for my NC25 skin if not a tiny bit dark but that's fine for me what they say on the back of this bottle is that it's a medium coverage foundation that feels hydrating and moisturizing lightweight formula blends instantly into the skin creating a nude Poreless effect, sweat, heat, humidity and transfer proof for up to 25 hours coverage that won't let you down. It is dermatologically tested and made in England. Also for those of you who are doing the right thing and very conscious of your SPF coverage, really nice to know that this one is going to also supplement the SPF that you already use every day, providing SPF 20 coverage. I will just let you know a little bit about my skin. I do have oily combination skin. I have large pores. I have hyperpigmentation and I'm aging. I have fine lines and wrinkles as well. So what I'm after in a foundation is something that does give me good, decent coverage. I like something that doesn't cake throughout the day. If I do want to build up more coverage, non cakiness is a big plus for me. I like something that smooths out my pores and fine lines and makes my face look smoother. And I like something that lasts a long time throughout the day. I have a full time job and kids and you know, I need my makeup to stay on from 7am basically to 7pm. So the fact that this claims a 25 hour longevity on your face is a plus. So I will cut now to application of the foundation and I'll show you how it wears throughout the day and I'll be back at the end to share with you my final thoughts and recommendations. Starting off with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer, applying a little bit to my fingers and then blending it into my face all over until it disappears. Leaves a nice satiny finish. Now moving on to the Lasting Finish Foundation, just applying one pump to my fingers and using my fingers to actually apply that to my face before going in with a Real Techniques Complexion Perfection Sponge and just using a stippling motion with that damp sponge just to blend it in. This is a foundation that blends into the skin very, very easily, very, very quickly. So you're getting nice even coverage very quickly. Great for those of you in a hurry in the mornings, you're going to really appreciate that foundation. So after using one pump of the medium coverage Rimmel foundation, applying it in one layer using a damp sponge all over my face, I definitely have achieved medium coverage. It at the moment has a lovely sheen, which would probably dry down a little bit considering I applied it with a damp sponge. It just looks smooth, hydrated and lovely. I am going to pop on a, another little pump just using the sponge, just to areas that need a bit of extra coverage, just so you can see while this foundation does say it's a medium coverage you know can it be built up over areas and you can see as I'm putting on that second layer with the damp beauty sponge that yeah you definitely can build it up I would say that even though this does say medium coverage you certainly can build it up to a more full coverage 
So really pleased with it at this point. I'll be back after I've applied my makeup just to let you know how it's looking then. Okay, I have applied the rest of my makeup and the foundation just looks absolutely beautiful. I haven't powdered down at all. The finish is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably a satin finish. I've got beautiful coverage, beautiful smoothing. My skin just looks, yeah, lovely. Smooth, healthy and even. So couldn't ask for anything more. I'm extremely impressed at application. I'll be back at the end of the day to show you how it's worn. We are now at about 14 hours after application of the Rimmel Lasting Finish Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage Foundation. And this foundation has lasted like an absolute dream. I have not touched up with any powder throughout the day. I have had a slight blot, maybe five, six hours ago, and this is absolutely beautiful. My skin still looks absolutely gorgeous. Everything still looks smoothed out in terms of coverage. My skin still looks very, very smooth in terms of the pores. The foundation shade certainly has held true throughout the day, and I could not be more impressed. This inexpensive drugstore foundation has lasted throughout the day second to none and I could not be more impressed. If you've been a fan previously like me of something like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, this foundation is going to give that one an absolute run for its money. Not only is it, you know, less than half the price of the Estee Lauder, but you're going to have a little bit more comfort. That foundation will last all day and it will give you a very smooth finish, but many people complain about sort of the cakey mask like effect. This foundation does the same thing in terms of coverage, in terms of smoothing, in terms of lasting all day, but for less than half the price, probably less than a third of the price, amazingly well without any sort of cakey mask like effect. I could not be more pleased with this foundation. I cannot stress how much I think of this foundation. It's absolutely brilliant. If you can find a shade match of this foundation, go out and get it now. You will not be sorry. And uh, I think that the primer goes along with it very, very well. At the 14 hour mark, after a long day, this foundation from Rimmel gets a resounding two thumbs up. So suffice to say, this foundation really does have me thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Not only does it look beautiful on application on my oily combination, poorish, wrinkly, uh, hyperpigmentation-like face, <laughs> but it lasts beautifully throughout the day. It keeps my face looking really lovely and performing th right throughout the day and into the night, which is a huge thumbs up. This one certainly joins the ranks among my top drugstore foundation recommendations. I love the Inoxa Serum Foundation. I love the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation and I love the Revlon Colorstay. Actually for dry to normal skin would probably be my favorite. So this is right up there with all of those favorites. Very, very affordable. I'll list the prices down below just to show you how the price of this compares. Skin types that I'd recommend this for. So definitely I think this does provide excellent oil control and also along with the primer, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. So I would indeed recommend this for combination oily skins. And you know, what? I don't know if this would cake for those of you with drier, flaky skins. I reckon this one might be okay for uh, normal to dry skins. Please do let me know if you have tried this foundation, if you've got dry, flaky skin and what you thought. I'd love to hear from you. Of course, with many drugstore foundations, the shade range may be something that lets you down. So definitely go and see if you can find a shade match, a relatively close shade match. If you can't, I'm sorry. Fragrance wise this does have a fragrance it's just a very slight uh, floral perfumey smell I certainly don't notice once I've applied it on my face at all just generally a really fantastic foundation if I have forgotten to give you any more details I will list those down below I hope you enjoyed comment down below if you have thoughts about this foundation or also if you have thoughts on the full coverage foundation I would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching have yourself a beautiful day and we'll see you again really, really soon. Don't forget you're gorgeous. Go out and be it. Bye.